Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about how I got to 1000 subscribers and hopefully I can give you some tips and tricks that will help you grow your YouTube channel. Um, so yeah. So firstly, I want to apologise for any noise. It is a sunny day, which means everyone and their cat are doing the lawn today um, and cutting their grass, and so it's really um, noisy. Plus, we've got some DIY going on um, around the house as well. So you might hear a few bangs and, and, and so on. So I just want to apologise for that in advance. Okay, so before we start, I kind of want to say thank you to all you new subscribers. Um, we are a growing family here on YouTube. And yeah, it's just, I'm just so thankful for you. So um, yeah, if you are a subscriber, then don't forget to hit like, comment down below, and um, definitely share this video as well, because that really helps me out. And I will talk about that later on in the video. Okay, so my first tip um, would be to niche down. Um, when I first started YouTube, I kind of, well, I actually focused a lot of my content on makeup, um, and I wasn't like a professional makeup artist or anything like that. I just kind of was quite quite creative, and I, I was all right at makeup, um, but um, I quickly kind of run out of ideas, and I also found that my videos were getting lost in the algorithm because there were so many. It was that's a deeply saturated market, the beauty guru market, um, and I just found that I run out of ideas really for myself. Now there were plenty of ideas out there for makeup artists, but I just felt that my content was getting lost in 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 in, in the sea of content. Um, so it, it took me a while and I kind of done a bit of this and a bit of that. I'd done some vlogs but I didn't have a big enough following to actually be like interested in the vlogs um, but it gave me an opportunity to kind of work out what kind of style videos I like filming and editing and how to do it, my schedule and kind of just learn everything. It wasn't until I got pregnant that I kind of really took everything on seriously. I, I think like pregnancy and motherhood kind of made me want to just do well for myself it really kind of made something click in my head and um, I wanted to make this um, a bit more of a career as well um, obviously I enjoyed doing it and everyone says you know do it because you enjoy it not because of the money and I definitely am doing that but I also want to make a career okay, sorry my filming cut out there so what was I saying and um, basically I definitely want to make a career out of um, doing this for my son um, and be able to provide for him um, so I kind of want to gel the kind of love of doing this with the you know career of doing this together um, but yes it wasn't until I was pregnant that I kind of niched down and kind of made content around mum life and pregnancy and I kind of integrated a bit of fashion into that because I, just, I, I really enjoy fashion and one of the things that I found really difficult um, when I was pregnant is finding videos on pregnancy style. So um, that was kind of like a gap in the market I felt and I definitely kind of took that and run with it so i kind of done a few videos on like how i style my bump and how to dress yourself when you're pregnant and i am actually going to be doing a video it should be coming up in a couple of weeks all on mum style and like how i dress my new kind of like mum bod now so definitely hit subscribe and you know check out that video when it comes out so stay tuned for that um, but yes, I kind of like niched down and that's when I started seeing more growth um, because I was finding a market that was, uh, that I, f I found people that wanted to see these kind of videos and now I kind of focus on tips and tricks that I can give to other mums out there, new mums out there um, and, and so on. So um, definitely kind of find a niche Find something that uh, you like talking about and, and and go with it and go with that. So I kind of do 
like I said a thousand times, mum, family, I also do a bit of home content, I want to kind of venture into that a bit more, and now I'm starting to do a bit more vlog content as well, because um, I'm kind of learning how to uh, kind of create my vlogs, and how, you know, I think you need that good year to kind of figure out how you want to create your videos so yeah it didn't take it took me like probably about a year and a half two years to kind of um realize what niche i was gonna go into so yeah niche down <laughs> did i say that already okay so that brings me on to consistency and kind of figuring out your schedule and how you can film. Um, I am actually doing a video, uh, oh, that reminds me, I need to film me doing some content now. Um, but yes, I, um, I am doing a whole video on how I kind of balance being a mum and working because you need to kind of figure out a schedule you know maybe you if you work full time maybe you film on Thursday nights and then edit over the weekend and um, my uh, I will talk about this in my kind of video all on how I balance mum life and career life um, but you also you need consistency it's not just about schedule but it's about um, like when you upload, you need to kind of uh, have an upload, you know, I upload twice a week on a Wednesday and a Sunday. Wednesdays are kind of my more kind of sit down videos, like this style video and tips and tricks and anything like that. Um, and my Sunday videos are more kind of vlog style. So I will have something, you know, in it that people want to see like, um, like my last vlog was uh, like talking about child like um kids organization um and how i organize keelan's toys um but but i will have like it will be more vlog style so um just definitely be consistent upload at the same time and the same day every uh every week um i would definitely recommend uploading at least twice a week um at the moment I am looking to now up my game a little bit and upload three times a week because I want those extra view times I want that you know I want my videos to get seen a little bit more I want to grow on my channel so I'm taking this tip myself and up in my game a little bit but uploading consistently so consistently so my videos are gonna go up Wednesday Friday and Sunday and I also do an IGTV on a Monday so if you're not following me on Instagram then definitely follow me um, over there um, but yes um, just be consistent so people you know your audience get excited for your videos and know when they can go and watch your videos okay so my next tip is to tell your viewers what you want so in all of my videos you will hear me say and it probably gets boring but you will hear me say subscribe like and comment down below because you know sometimes your viewers need a little bit of a nudge to kind of um you know have some incentive to do that um and this this really helps your video all the uh, engagement that you can get will push your video higher in the ranking and um in uh, like a, a, it goes better in the youtube algorithm so i will always say this in my videos because it, you know i just like to remind you you know i mean why not comment down below and tell me that you're watching this video and that you enjoy this kind of content let me know if you actually want to see more videos like this on how to grow your youtube channel and i will do my best obviously i'm growing quite slow but i think the tips that i can give are quite helpful so yeah definitely comment down below even if it's just an emoji that helps me out a ton okay so you want to also make binge worthy content so if you are just starting your youtube channel then i would really suggest creating a batch of videos and kind of having a bulk of them uploaded together so that you have binge worthy content for people to go to because nine times out of ten you most people don't subscribe to a channel unless there are other videos to watch and they will watch a few of them to see if they like your content and then they'll subscribe. So have that binge worthy content ready. Another way to kind of uh, 
ensure that there is binge worthy content is to use the cards and the end screen that are available in the kind of editing screen of your video when you upload it to youtube so cards mean that you can put a, a link to another video up in your video so i will put one here this is another video of mine that you can watch and basically you will just click this and it will take you to that video and that will be another video that they will enjoy hopefully um and then on top of that um i would uh, make an end screen so i have made a template of an end screen so that i can put i'll put it on screen now for you basically i put a video uh, best for viewer video in the top i don't know whether it's the right hand or whatever the hand um when it's on screen um corner and then at the bottom i'll put subscribe and these are all links that they can click to subscribe and like and watch your videos but creating binge worthy content is going to just well it's going to get your watch time up as well as um giving the giving your viewers content to kind of just really enjoy it and then hopefully subscribe to after okay so thumbnails let's take a minute to think about thumbnails so my thumbnails were just a simple picture of myself most of the time um and i just thought it got to a point where I was like, no one's actually going to be clicking on this because who wants to see just me all the time? So I would really create, t take the time to create a good thumbnail. Now this can be yourself, especially if it's your makeup, you know, make a thing of your makeup, you know, and showcase it. But if you are just doing, like for me, if I'm doing vlogs, I like to, I'd like to get myself in the pictures, but doing something. So I've got a thumbnail here, which is just me kind of, uh, gardening because that's what I'm doing in this vlog so I'm doing some DIY I'm doing some gardening and and so on so <clears throat> making um, thumbnails is really important now I also kind of like brand my thumbnail so my theme on my everything on my brand on my Instagram on my YouTube on my Facebook all of that is like a beige theme because I really love my neutral colors um, and I didn't really like the black and white theme on my branding so I went with the beige theme and I put this on every one of my videos so if you see my videos in the column uh, like suggested bar when you're watching one of my videos then you know that that video is my video so um, I will you know always have that color in my somewhere in my thumbnail and also the same kind of text and just style of thumbnail and um, so um, I also want to start putting kind of more bold lettering on my videos and um, just to kind of get the viewer interested and you know you've got to think that the viewers um, are mostly watching content on their phone so they're only seeing a box this big so you want to make sure that they can see what you're trying to um tell them quite easily um, and title it well okay so i also wanted to mention like an app that would really help you it's not really an app it's like a plugin um, and it's called tube buddy now you might have seen this in many other youtube videos like this kind of video because it is just a great app now i pay for my app so that i get the extra you know facilities and this really helps with a few things so the most important thing for me is my title now if i just put in um home tour gardening let's say um that won't really do well on youtube um because it's quite saturated there are loads of people talking about this kind of stuff at the moment and it's my video is going to be ranked lowest on that because i don't have that many subscribers so what you buddy does is you know you can type in loads of different alterations of that title so i might put in kind of like um 2020 home tour uh new home uh gardening shopping b&m or something um come b&m shopping with me in 2020 you know make different alter like alterations to your title and it will tell you if these titles rank good very good 
poor um, and just yeah it just tells you the best way to title it sometimes if you put a title in and you can't think of something it will give you suggested uh, suggested titles so that's really helpful um, if you can't think of a different title um, but it doesn't do this all the time another great thing that TubeBuddy does is hashtags so instead of sitting there for I mean or quite a while hours thinking of different hashtags that people will type in it gives you suggested hashtags for that title so that makes it really just easy to kind of just yeah I'll have that hashtag I'll have that hashtag and you've done your hashtag in like five ten minutes rather than an hour so that really helps um with this as well um now what else does it help you with um and it it just kind of helps TubeBuddy just helps you rank higher in the algorithm. So it's a really great plugin to have. You can actually get it plugged in for free, but I have decided to get the paid version so that I get those extra benefits from it. Okay, so they are my tips for how to kind of get more subscribers and to grow your YouTube channel. Um, I am now currently on like 1,000 and something at the moment, subscribers. So this is what I've done, the tips that I've used to help me grow. I, If you have any tips, then definitely comment down below because I am always looking for new tips on how to grow my channel and how to just, you know, do better. So um, I would highly, really recommend, uh, not recommend, I really appreciate um, some advice on this topic as well because um, we all need to grow. But I hope that my tips have helped you um, as well. So... <laughs> yeah um so i will link a few videos down below in the description box if you want to see what other kind of content i create and i will see you in my next video guys bye Mwah.